All right, folks. This feels pretty damn good. <laughs> it's been a long spring. Oh, boy. Um, all right, we're, we're going to take a little break here. First thing I have to do here, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain this. This does let loose a little bit. Okay, we got a great mariage as far as I'm concerned. We got the cab 6400 John Deere hooked up to the 12 foot planter. This is John Deere 8250. I'm very pleased, proud, and honored, and very grateful to tell you that this is a loaned out Calty Packer. Uh, this comes from a neighboring dairy. He does not use it anymore. Uh, that farm has grown leaps and leaps and leaps and bounds. But uh, I, I've offered to purchase this twice and I got a no each time. Uh, Cause they, they got some little side stuff that they like to do with some food plots for, for deer and stuff. And then uh, I, I have a feeling he actually kind of likes to loan it out, which that's pretty honorable. So anyway, uh, I'm here to tell you, I searched high and low. Uh, most of the winter and well into the early part of spring looking for a 12 foot 12 foot culti packer I mean I, I, I literally looked in the Midwest and I could not find one that was in fair shape and of course we're talking a carded one uh, or even this style whatever you call this I guess you call this carded um, that's fantastic you better eat your Wheaties in the morning though holy crumbs I couldn't find one in the entire Midwest that either wasn't beat to shit or had a whorehouse price on it. I don't need to be talking like that. I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, it's about 1.30ish. I got going about uh, uh, right after, right after about a quarter after 12. I'm very, very happy with the way that this field worked up and not having to put a tine in the ground, so to speak. Um, now that also means that I ran the hell out of my disc, respectfully. And then uh, last night I came in here uh, and culti mulched it. Actually, I got a couple hours out of the way in the afternoon. The rest was completed last night. I am very pleased with how this worked out. It is just fantastic. Okay, here we got our sorghum seed. That is the Alpharex sorghum sedan hybrid BMR variety called Forage King. Um, I played with that stuff two years ago because you know I didn't I didn't do any sorghum last year and I was thoroughly thoroughly impressed what a huge difference versus what I'm gonna call the run-of-the-mill sorghum seed which sounds like a bad word I don't know how else to say it um, huge difference huge difference in uh, the stem um, with and just uh, the, the leaf of the, uh, the plant, ju just a fantastic difference. So here's the deal though. Uh, I've never been accused of being uh, consistent. <laughs> I'm up in the ante. I'm up in the ante to 40 pounds to the acre. Whether you agree with that or not, that is what I am doing. That means I don't have enough seed. Well, we got a perfect world going here. Myself and another gentleman are the only two that special order the Forage King variety. The rest of it's called Sweet King, and that's that's from Alpharex. Well, they mistakenly shipped multiple, multiple more bags than what was ordered. 
and they're sitting at the mill waiting for me. I'm gonna, I, I need three more bags, but you know how this works. I'm gonna pick up four. If anything's left, I'm able to just bring it back undamaged. So, yeah, this is, this is going, going well. A little bit of a dusty ordeal here but there's no heat or ac in this tractor the windows got to be kept open for a little bit of a breeze uh there's been three servicings done on this tractor for heat and ac for the last five years and they all failed and i'm not paying that bill anymore we got a good local guy here now we got multiple but uh this is right up his alley. He said when he gets freed up here, again, he's going to give me a call. I'm going to drop this off to him. He's going to get it going, hopefully just in time for uh, small square bale season. So 40 pounds to the acre. Uh, I'm planting the uh, Forge King. Happy with how it worked up. Um, good stuff. I don't know if I said it or not. Dad's relieving me at 3.30 so I can go get more seed and do chores. I'll talk to you more on the end rows. There's, there's a change that I need to make. <laughs> Remember I got two hands here. anymore and it's time to do the runways and then of course I crisscross my corners at the end. I murdered that explanation but that's what I do. That's why I'm okay with ground not being covered like I just did there. Okay the ends of these fields right here are pretty rough. Even though the field worked up fantastically. I meant to do this last year and I didn't. It skipped my mind. My Culti Mulcher, which does a fantastic job. I love that piece of equipment. it's full of sea tines. The tines at the very ends are, are too far out to the ends near the roller to where they actually kick out a few inches or so of dirt past the roller, so to speak. And that makes for some pretty uh, slow traveling ends of fields. I need to make that change on the next rainy day that we have. Every little bit helps.
and that's about it. I'll admit I put a lot of extra TLC into this field, the multiple discs, discings, everything else, all the manure, uh, an application of, uh, hell, I didn't even tell you, I came out here yesterday before the culti mulching, and uh, with some consultation, and of course all the manure that's been put down and everything else, I ended up just putting down 100 pounds to the acre of urea. Um, I can't express to you in words what this field, what this crop is going to mean for me in my operation. I guess one of the ways to put it, I don't rehearse this shit, is think if I was milking cows, maybe 50, 60 cows or something like that, this would be my corn field for corn silage for the milking cows for the year. That is how important this feed is to me. I murdered that explanation, but yeah, th this this means a lot. It's going to get some extra care, which I've already done. Now it's just time to plant it the best that I can. There's going to be a little bit of skips. I'm still learning this drill. The spaces between the tire and uh, the first uh, cutter. Um, I learned a lot of lessons on the uh, the winter rye field though it's plain as day out there that I needed to tighten things up a little bit and uh, that's about it I don't know what else to tell you I'll take you for a little more of a ride here till the end of the field then I'm gonna shut you down and pay attention to what I'm doing here to come out here with the gator in the next day or two and uh, pick, pick up some stones uh, they're gonna that are gonna play hell on me come harvest time you know with the disbine and the baler we're, we're talking like maybe 10 or 12 of them but nonetheless they need to be picked up um, yeah Feels good. It's 33 degrees this morning. Now she's warm. We had 31 degrees yesterday morning. Windshields were all frosted. Uh, I'm planting in uh, C1, uh, just under five miles an hour. I don't get my kicks out of running as fast as I can, so there's there's my answer there. That's a pretty sight. Not me. Right there. I basically took you guys all the way around, tried to explain things the best I could. Ah, I murdered that. Crying out loud. That's it for now.
now. I hope everybody's doing okay. We're going to talk to you much sooner than later.